from the flight to Melron Rolls into the 45 degree up line, a reverse Cuban 8. Suck the stick back to his belly button and listen to this airplane as he accelerates on the down line for his next series of passes. At Air Show Center, there's one, two, three, and four for a four point slow hesitation roll, and then once again into the vertical climbing almost straight up before he pushes the stick forward and tumbles the airplane end over end. Ew, that hurts. <laughs> On the downhill now, the MX is again accelerating. Upside down, 180 degree roll to the outside, and he pushes forward on the stick. Four times, negative G, trying to pop him out of the cockpit. His eyeballs are bulging from his face, and the world's turning a little bit red as he starts on the downhill side, and there it goes, that speed force is building up once again. Scott wears two complete sets of seat belts in the airplane. The wide belt, NASCAR type, and over the top of that, an entirely different set. Uh, he's got a lot of altitude to play with as he comes down here. This time, step rolls on the way back down. Oh, man. That's seven positive G's standing around inside the cockpit. Over inverted, right side up. Thunderstorm penetration maneuver as Scott takes the airplane into a perfectly beautiful vertical climb, just like a club bob, and starts a series of aileron rolls. Holds the airplane exactly in position, right at the top of our airspace. And then the airplane literally hangs on its propeller as it comes back down. All right, Scott, you've stalled the airplane enough. Let's, uh, let's get flying again here. There he goes, recovering and maneuvering right back to the 500-foot show center line. Taking himself off directly where he's supposed to be at this point. He starts a beautiful barrel roll. That's 90 degrees of the flex to the right or left, and 360 degrees around the center line of the airplane. Once again, over on the left-hand side of the airspace, an inverted upside-down climb. 